In a remote residential mental health facility, a young psychiatric nurse embarked on an eerie journey that would forever linger in their memories. The nurse's career began with an enigmatic resident known as Marion Duchesne, an elective mute who refused to speak despite no apparent medical explanation for his silence. However, what made Marion truly intriguing was his towering height, reaching nearly seven feet. Marion's earlier life was ordinary, except for his exceptional stature. Hailing from the Deep South, he enlisted in the military at the age of 19. But one fateful night, he vanished without a trace. Initially declared as absent without leave, AWOL, the passage of time eventually led authorities to deem him missing and presumed dead. A decade later, an astonishing event unfolded at a VA hospital in the nurse's Midwest town. A seven-foot-tall man entered the emergency room, introducing himself as Marion Duchesne, yes, the very same individual declared deceased a decade prior. However, those few words were the last he would ever utter. Covered in a thick layer of dust, Marion wore the same clothes he had been reported to be wearing the night of his disappearance. Bereft of any identification, his social security number dormant, the only means to verify his identity were his fingerprints. Remarkably, they confirmed him to be Marion Duchesne. The news reached his family, who, already having mourned his loss, adamantly denied that the man claiming to be Marion could possibly be their loved one. They demanded to be left alone, refusing any further contact. From that moment forward, Marion's presence within the facility became a perplexing enigma. He paced ceaselessly, day in and day out, his mouth moving as if engaged in conversation or silent muttering. Yet, no sound escaped his lips. Occasionally, he would throw his head back, his mouth wide open, mimicking the hearty laughter that failed to resonate. Whenever the nurse engaged with Marion, he appeared to listen attentively, sporadically punctuating their interactions with his peculiar laughter-like gestures. Despite numerous attempts to alleviate Marion's condition through various medications, nothing seemed to affect him, neither positively nor negatively. Occupational therapy proved futile, as Marion would simply grin and, unless instructed otherwise, resume his incessant pacing. On the nurse's final day at the facility, as they prepared to bid farewell to this unsettling chapter of their career, they witnessed Marion, still as enigmatic as ever, pacing in the desolate parking lot. One last time, Marion threw his head back, mimicking laughter that remained devoid of any audible presence. As the nurse departed, a haunting thought lingered, had they been dealing with a ghost all along? To this day, the answer eludes them, shrouded in the mysteries of Marion Duchesne's inexplicable existence.